This is episode 6 and the last episode of Comparing Dante's Inferno. Or at least I think this might be the last one. I'm not really a man who plans ahead. I hope you've enjoyed these as much as I enjoyed going back to both the game and the book. I will not be doing a recap to start this episode, though. There's a decent recap in episode 4, and if you haven't watched the others, then what the hell are you doing here? And I am ready to take you home. All your sins. <sighs> I think not. Look into the ninth circle of hell. Look into the dark, cold realm of the traitors. <sighs> God in heaven. Who is responsible for this? Take care of my sister. I am responsible. Hang him! Prepare to march tonight! When the noble Saladin learns of this atrocity... He will bring forth the forces of hell. Beatrice, I will protect you. to death for your crime! What is your answer for this treachery? No. I give up on this journey. My place is here in hell. Yours is in paradise. I am truly sorry for what I have done. May you one day forgive me. My cross. You've done well, Dante. And though you may not understand it now, you have saved much more than this innocent soul. For your role in the ongoing battle is more important than you can possibly imagine. I don't understand! Your redemption is near. Wait! I have to take care of her! I have come this far! Trust me. You will see her again. Shade, tell me of these giants. One here is called Nimrod, the builder of Babel. For his great flaw, a single language is not shared throughout the world. The proud Ephialtes, who tried his strength against Jove, and Antaeus, the once invincible son of Mother Earth. So of course the event with Beatrice and the Angel is strictly game plot. Dante leaves the Malibolge with Virgil and they come to the ninth circle of hell. This is where the giants are chained and eventually one of them lifts the poets and puts them on the frozen river of Cochitis. <laughs> For betraying the love and trust that nature makes. At the center of the universe, in the seat of the devil himself, every traitor is consumed eternally. In the circle of traitors, the damned are frozen in the lake, turned purple and pained by the cold. Dante sees two people frozen together by their tears, one chewing the head of another, and Dante begins pulling the hair out of the scalp of another for being an asshole.
I've waited eternity for this emancipation! Vesila regis prodeunt inferni, my master said. Closer to us, so now look ahead and see if you can make him out. A far off windmill turning its huge sails when a thick fog begins to settle in, or when the light of day begins to fade, that is what I thought I saw appearing. And the gusts of wind it stirred made me shrink back behind my guide, my only means of cover. Down here I stood on souls fixed under ice. I tremble as I put this into verse. To me they looked like straws worked into glass. Some lying flat, some perpendicular, either with their heads up or their feet, and some bent head to foot, shaped like a bow. When we had moved far enough along the way that my master thought the time had come to show me the creature who was once so beautiful, he stepped aside and stopping me announced, This is he. This is Dis. This is the place that calls for all the courage you have in you. How chilled and nerveless, reader, I felt then. Do not ask me. I cannot write about it. There are no words to tell you how I felt. I did not die. I was not living either. Try to imagine, if you can imagine, me there, deprived of life and death at once. The king of the vast kingdom of all grief stuck out with half his chest above the ice. My height is closer to the height of giants than theirs is to the length of his great arms. Consider now how large all of him was, this body in proportion to his arms. If once he was as fair as now he's foul and dared to raise his brows against his maker, it is fitting that all grief should spring from him. Oh, how amazed I was when I looked up and saw a head, one head wearing three faces. One was in front, and that was a bright red. The other two attached themselves to this one just above the middle of each shoulder, and at the crown all three were joined in one. The right face was a blend of white and yellow, the left the color of those people's skin who live along the river Nile's descent. Beneath each face two mighty wings stretched out, the size you might expect of this huge bird. I never saw a ship with larger sails. Not feathered wings, but rather like the ones a bat would have. You are the best, Dante. Many have tried and many have failed me. Brave Ulysses, the great Alexander, Attila, Lancelot. Only you possess the soul black enough to free me. I gave my soul to free Beatrice, not you. Did you really think this was all about the girl? She was the bait! Her soul is free now. Only you and I remain! Come for me, holy warrior! Come! Fulfill your destiny! You cannot imagine what it means to be free of that prison! He flapped them constantly, keeping three winds continuously in motion to lock Cocytus eternally in ice. He wept from his six eyes, and down three chins were dripping tears all mixed with bloody slaver. In each of his three mouths he crunched a sinner with teeth like those that rake the hemp and flax, keeping three sinners constantly in pain. The one in front, the biting he endured, was nothing like the clawing that he took. Sometimes his back was raked clean of its skin. That soul up there who suffers most of all, my guide explained, is Judas Iscariot, the one with head inside and legs out kicking. As for the other two whose heads stick out, the one who hangs from that black face is Brutus, see how he squirms in silent desperation. The other one is Cassius, he still looks sturdy. But soon it will be night, now is the time to leave this place, for we have seen it all. You dare assault me! You, who have done far worse than I! I stood for my fellow angels, for reason and justice, and then he made you! His image, you, the flawed creation, and I was to bow down to you. My gratitude for breaking the chains of Judeca. You don't behold your ruin and witness my escape into the kingdom of purgatory and paradise. 
Inferno ends with the poets climbing down Lucifer between tufts of shaggy hair and frozen crust while Dante clings to Virgil's back. They reach the center of the universe, which was thought to be the core of the earth, and have to spin around and begin climbing up, which is actually the same direction they were descending. They reach something like an old dungeon of broken stones and barely any light. They finally reach the other side of the earth. Purgatory. <laughs> There's just one last minor detail with which I ought to make you familiar. Forbidden by him. I am so sick of you. I will reclaim my rightful place in paradise. My path will be paved with the sins of man. And yours, Dante, shall be the bedrock of my return. And all that is good shall be gone from the universe forever! Not yet. I have collected many souls on this pilgrimage. Souls that I have freed from this inferno. And together, they now possess the power to free me, father, mother, brothers, absolve me! This power, Tante, we can use it together. You and I, friend, just think what we could achieve. I would rather not. Dante, I can reunite you with Beatrice. Together, we will rule the three kingdoms of the afterlife. It's not going to happen.
I did not die. And I did not live. So we reached the end of Inferno and the beginning of Purgatory. If you're wondering, there's actually almost no chance of a game sequel, so don't wait for a comparing Dante's Purgatory. But thanks a lot for watching these, and I hope you enjoyed them. Now, as I'm sure you know, <clears throat> there's so much more to both the game and the poem than what I covered here. In the game, Virgil has way more dialogue, the breasts are uncensored, and the gameplay is actually pretty tight. I played it on the PS3, but it's also available on the Xbox 360 and PSP. If you like action games, you'd really enjoy it. As for the original poem by Dante Alighieri, it's amazing. If you like reading, read it. If you don't, read it. Reading and playing these will give you a satisfaction that these videos can't. If you want to be on the same page as me, I read the Penguin Classics version translated by Mark Musa. Thanks again for watching.